We are here with Casey and AJ. Thank you guys so much for joining me. We are here to kind of just talk about y'all's relationship and how it relates to where the 2022 Atlanta Falcons are currently as a defense. Looking to throw, zipping it for an intercepted. It's AJ Terrell with the pick. It'd be intercepted in the end zone and picked off by Casey Hayward. We ain't really the first time we met was really through, you know, no, through the phone. He getting recruited through agency. It had to be right before his rookie year or something like that. Yeah, right before. Cause like we got the same agent and stuff like that. So our agent, it's like a family. So he tried to keep everybody together. Everybody meet each other. And then we DB, so we just lock in with each other. We've been had each other number for a while. We watched a lot of Clemson games. Um, and I just remember him being a really good player when he was in Clemson. There's a shot down the rail looking for Green. And it's intercepted, underthrown. AJ Terrell picks it off. And I was like, he gonna be legit. So when my agent was like, man, he recruiting, he recruiting AJ, I'm like, oh yeah, he one of the guys. When you heard that Casey could potentially be coming to Atlanta, what were you kind of thinking in the back of your mind at that time? Just happy to know that it's, you know, a veteran guy. And like I said, being able to pick his ear and, uh, you know, just learn more about the game. You know, he's very, very um, knowledgeable on concepts of the routes and, uh, just being able to slow the game down all the way and just know what's coming. Like I said, just you know, picking his ear and just listening to what he's saying is the, is the best thing I could do for myself. Oh uh, man, I was just kind of excited just to get here, um, but now I get to play on the side of uh, all pro guy, and I haven't had that since I was in Green Bay. One takes the snap, short drop, fires over the middle, and it's intercepted again! A.J. Terrell coming back down the far sideline. The way that he pressed, play man, and the way that he's competitive, I don't think he care who's out there, he's gonna win the route, you know what I mean? That's what I kind of, you know, like about this game from watching him over the years, even going all the way back to, you know, Clemson, you know what I mean? But now I actually get to see it every day and I'm like, I admire a little more and like, I see why he's one of the top guys, you know what I mean? It sometimes almost feels like corners have this, like almost like twin telepathy, where you just know what the other one's doing because you trust them so much on the other side of the field. Definitely. You know, just having that, uh, that the experience and uh, just like you said, just understanding. Cause I, we both in the same, we know in the same shoes, so we know the stresses and we know uh, what's good for us and you know how to balance it out. On the other side, I kind of don't even worry. You know what I mean? Like he going he gonna take care of what he supposed to do. For AJ, I'm pretty sure like no matter who was on the other side of him, whoever came in, his expectation for himself is high. You know what I mean? So and for myself as well. You know, it's how if both of us can live up to the expectations or the expectations of ourselves, then the defense would be better and we will be one of the top tandems. Like you said, the expectation, but also having the self-confidence and all those type of things coming in individually. Right. You know, he having, you know, playing in the league, he knows what it's like and me being hungry and knowing what it's like. And like you said, can definitely mesh into a good, you know, great quarter, cornerback tandem in the league. To be two guys from Georgia who are arguably at the top of their game playing the same position for your hometown team, I mean, what does that kind of mean to you? I think it's pretty dope, you know what I mean? AJ got to do it since, you know, his first his first down of NFL, so I know that's kind of pretty dope for him and his family. And for me now, my family, all my family from Georgia, so I think it's probably more exciting for my family than anything that they get to come to the games and things like that. And being a Georgia native, all my people Falcons fans. Surreal still to this day, you know, just being able to come right from Clemson, right back down the street, right where I'm at, and uh, just make a living right here. So um, for my family, it's been great as well. Um, fans everywhere, tickets everywhere, <laughs> everything crazy, but you know, it's God's plans, the beauty of it, and we, you know, love it right now. It's a standard. You know, uh, Dean talked about the standard from the first day. Everybody just doing their job, winning their job, every play. And uh, it could be something so special if we just, you know, do that one simple thing. And, uh, you know, all things are falling in line and going one and no each week. I feel like if everybody from the 11 to the backups can all lock in and um, play one accord from the D-line to the linebackers to the secondary, I think we got a chance to be pretty good. Taking everything to heart. You know, watching film, um, out there in practice, just straining to be great. 